Uh, I was just pleased with the way we played overall. Our defense was really solid, and um, after a slow start offensively, I thought we uh, started getting the ball moving, and I thought JaVel McGee came in, made a huge impact, just um, getting a lot of uh, uh, a lot of rebounds, um, deflections. He just, he just got his hand on the ball quite a bit and uh, created extra possessions for us, and, uh, and obviously that helped Steph and Clay get going from the three-point line. You, you guys got rebounded by six. Guards had a lot of rebounds. How important was that? And also that sequence in the third quarter. I think you had three re offensive rebound kick out threes. Yeah, so nice. yeah, those are killers. You know, when we can get an offensive board um, because of our shooting, it's you know, it's it's one of the hardest things to defend is um, is an offensive rebound kick out to a shooter. You just you know, you're already out of position, and and so we were fortunate. Um, some of that was Javel getting his hand on a couple balls, and then a couple of uh, long rebounds that went our way, but. Um, yeah, we, you got to take advantage of those, and Steph and Clay did. But um, anytime we play this team, uh, rebounding is really key because they have a size advantage over us. Uh, but our speed was a, a factor on the glass tonight. When, you're, when your two main guys hit 14 threes, I mean, are you over there sitting and thinking it all? Man, this is a little payback for what you guys had on the last, you know, when they were slumping bad on the last road trip. Uh, I, I just think, yeah, I just think it's, I mean, it evens out. You know, these guys are great shooters. And, um, you know, we went through a long stretch there, seven or eight games where we weren't hitting. So it was just a matter of time. Even after all the success you guys have had, do you still need nights like this against a good team just for to make your guys feel good about well, themselves? I, I think, I don't, our guys feel pretty good about themselves anyway. So I'm not worried about their uh, self-esteem, but I, I, I like the fact that, you know, we had a good solid week last week at home, and uh, I really wanted to make sure we kept it going because I thought we built good momentum at home. Um, and so the best way to keep it going is to, to win on the road against a good team. So uh, that was a great way to carry the momentum forward and, um, you know, kind of keep things going and got another, another tough road game tomorrow. Did, did you drop the touchdown play at the end of the first half? Yeah, that was, uh, that was a bizarre play. Um, I didn't think we'd have enough time to get the ball, to advance the ball. Uh, but uh, Clay w was really alert. You know, he chased down the, the jump ball, and uh, Steph leaked out, and, and he was wide open. And uh, it was a big uh, momentum boost for us to, to finish the half on that play. What was your view of that scrum that happened right before that play? Uh, I, I just saw uh, a little bit of pushing based on uh, positioning on the jump ball. It looked like Steph was trying to get to a spot, and then I don't know. I think Russell might have pushed him a little bit. Steph pushed him back. No big deal. Start the third day. We were able to close it down to twelve. Called a timeout. Just what were you telling your team at that point? Well, we knew it was coming. I mean, it's uh, we're on their home floor, and um, you know Russell did not have a great first half. We knew he'd come out attacking, and uh, and he did. He attacked the rim a couple times. He made a three. I think they cut it to twelve. So. Um, just weather the storm, you know, keep playing, and, and our guys did, and we got the lead right back. Good to see Kevin off the bench for the first time since you know, he went Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's progressing well, and uh, it's great to see him with the guys and uh, in the training room, and, you know, he's moving around better and better, so hopefully that keeps going. Thanks a lot.